please show the support guys if you like this video then please hit the like button like this and also share this video by hitting this share button and please hit this red subscribe button and turn all notifications by selecting all so you will get all the notifications of my channel it is totally free uh, hello friends today in this tutorial we will be plotting our excel file uh, you can see that this is my excel file we will be plotting uh, a graph here you can see that using a library in python which is uh, maxplot and we will be also be using pandas library in order to uh, uh, process this uh, excel file data so let's get started by building this application so first of all i have these two excel files which is there in my directory here so and also we have app.py file so first dependency we need to import is pandas so just import this dependency as pd so pd is just a short symbol and we also need to import numpy library as num np and uh, this is just a symbol and we have this third library which is uh, in order to plot a graph we need to import this mat matplot library and we just need to uh, import this pyplot library and we will be using as plt so this is just a shorthand symbol and after importing these libraries we just need to import our excel files so let me just call it as excel1 file so this will be equal to the excel file that is present shift data excel this is extension and we will also be importing our second file let me just name it as second so this will be equal to third shift data xls this is extension and now we just need to read the content so we can just make use of uh, just declare this variable df stands for data frame so we will be using this method which will be read excel so which is the, which is used to read the excel file in uh, pandas so now inside this i will provide my excel file first file and also the second argument i will be giving the sheet number so sheet name will be equal to first and similarly we will be creating the second uh, second sheet so we will be again be reading the same excel file so read excel and we will pass the same file which is excel one file and this time we will be passing the sheet number to second because inside this uh, excel file there are two sheets let me just show you if i go back to my folder here this is my root directory let me just go to desktop here and this is uh, excel here let me just python excel this is my folder and let me just open this file here shift data this is the file so inside this excel file there are two sheets so we just need to import it you can see that this is the second sheet and the first sheet is there so we need to uh, import these two sheets so that is why we are naming first and second and now we will be making a third variable which will be third shift so inside this we will now we again be using the read excel so inside this we will pass our second file so excel to file this file we will and the default argument is a sheet name uh, this is equal to first so we can just write it or we can just neglect it or we are neglecting it so it will take the default sheet as first so after importing these two fi files here we can just print out the contents here let's suppose i want to print uh, the first i can just write df first shift and now if i run this you will see that it will import all the entries which are present inside the first sheet so just wait it is running here let me just close the previous application so now if i run this now you will see that it will be grabbing all the entries which are there you can see that 29 rows and six columns it has grabbed this is present in the first sheet you can see that first number is there and similarly i can grab the second shift i can just print out df second shift so this will hold all the entries which are there in the second shift second sheet so you can see that second sheet are there so it has shift is equal to second number so we are successfully grabbing all the data and now guys if i wanted to concatenate all these three rows i can just make a df all variable inside this i will 
make use of a function which is uh, there in pandas which is concatenate this is a function in order to concatenate multiple uh, excel files so this is in the array format i will provide df first shift comma df second shift and uh, let me just rename it to shift the df third shift that's it so now we have successfully written all the shifts out there so it will be concatenating all these three elements into one and now if i print all print uh, df all you will see that it will contain all the three entries now if i run this you will see the columns so it takes taking you can see that 87 rows into six columns so now it has concatenated all three entries into one single one and now we can just plot our graph here so for plot plotting our graph we need to first of all calculate the productivity let me just show you which column we will be taking here we will be taking this column production runtime and the second column will be products produced so we will be taking these columns so first of all in order to select a column in pandas we will be making a variable pivot and inside this we will be calling this a group by function so this is a function which is there group by inside this we can just write our column name which is shift and we just need to calculate the mean so we can just call a mean function so it will calculate all the entries which have a label shift on it so now after that we can just make a shift productivity variable and inside this we can just use pivot dot location which is loc and inside this we can just have a square bracket sorry square brackets inside this first argument is colon so take all columns comma and uh, then sorry this uh, column means take all rows and the second argument we need to provide the column name which is production uh, production runtime so this is the column let me just show you we are taking this to column you can see that let me just show you production runtime minutes and pro products produce units so you can just copy paste the name here let me just write it manually so minutes and the second column is uh, you just need to write a colon here and then we just need to write the other column name which is products produced and this is there in units so you so just make sure that the column names are spelling mistake is not there so after specifying it we can just plot our graph here so in order to plot a graph we can just use shift productivity dot plot inside this method we can just provide an argument which is kind is equal to we need to plot a bar graph so we can just provide a value kind is equal to bar and now if i want to show the graph we can just plt dot show this is a method and we are just using this uh, library matplot library we are using the symbol plt and we are calling a show method now if i run this it will hopefully show a graph to me so just wait it, it takes some time to calculate the entries and plot the graph for you it will be showing this in the graphical user interface so it is telling me that uh, uh, shift is not defined so there is a key error let me just see see here I think this is needs to be in capital letter sorry guys so this just changes to capital S and now if you run this it will hopefully you can see that guys it has plotted this graph here and we can just see that the productivity of uh, sheet number three is more you can see that this is the productivity of sheet number three it is more here we can clearly see that so it has plotted this graph here beautiful graph so now after that we can just save this file into a new excel file we can just create the output excel file concatenating all the entries so we can just uh, execute a simple function of on df all dot to excel this is a function in order to create a new excel file and here you just need to provide the name so in this case i will provide output excel access this is extension that's it and now if i hopefully refresh this uh, run the application it will create a new file for us it has created the graph 
but uh, let me just see it has created the file you can see that output.xlx is uh, is created if i open this file you will see that all the three shifts one two three will be concatenated inside this file so if i open this so it is just opening so just wait you can see that number one shift is there if i drag down number two is also there and number three is also there you can see that so all these entries have been concatenated into one single file excel file so in this tutorial we have seen that how to work with excel files and also plot a graph using the pandas and maxplot library so thanks very much for watching this